All right, guys. Today I'm going to be showcasing the new VK Doom ray tracing shadows. So in order to get that, you have to go to vkdoom.org, go to the source code. It's experimental. It's not ready to be played. If you have issues, don't blame me. Um, go to. You have to log in for this. You have to have an account because when you click on it, you don't have an account. You won't be able to download Visual Studio. Uh, pick the bottom one this is this is like a pre-built version that they uploaded for changes so you'll be able to play that um go to built folder you just created uh go to dim mods or whatever you have your um, stuff installed to i'm just going to paste it here overwrite all Open your favorite Doom launcher. I'm gonna remove Brutal Doom from this one because uh, with this level set that I have installed, it tends to glitch things out. So I'm going to install, uh, let me see. Channel Doomer. Project site. I'm going to go to that now. The um. The level pack is going to be this. Uh, I don't know where it came from. I had to upload it myself. It was some Russian Doom remake. Um, but it uses HONTE Remastered, uh, which is a popular version. It has some custom PBR materials. And I generally figured that this would be the ideal way to test it, because it looks the best. So I'm going to make some gameplay tweaks first. I do this with all default gameplay mods. And so what you're going to do is you're going to go to Options, Display. Um, I like turning off multi-sampling because this is extremely difficult um, on the system. Go to Vanilla. Go to Advanced Display Options. Go to Light Options. Change this to whatever you want, and uh, it's ray trace. Now, you're going to want to have shadow filtering to nearest because it's going to be a lot more shadows than what you're used to. So, the mod pack has some things you might want to turn off shaders, the McTone map you turn off, post processing you can turn that on and off, whatever you want. Um, so, let's go start a new game. And I have the frame rate counter. This is a 2080 Super, an i9-9900K. It's a pretty decent system. Um, but it is ray traced shadows. So if you have ever, like, played Call of Duty 2019 and had only the shadows ray traced, and I'm gonna show you what the difference is. Go to advanced. See? One that is on, so the shadows will spill over from light sources. See that? Um, so I'm going to go play a level and I will showcase exactly what it's like. Now, obviously, you can play this. Um, Brutal Doom does have a bug, but to fix that, you can just not load fluids should be able to see a fluid spot or something and you can just not load that. But obviously the version of GZ Doom, of BK Doom itself doesn't have that. Another thing I've noticed is if you can't aim for headshots in Brutal Doom, what you want to do is go to player setup and enable vertical bullet spread. Um, from what I've tried, that has helped me. Um, but your mileage may vary. Obviously, for no vertical bullet spread, you would assume that the, uh, you won't be able to up and down, aim up and down. That's what I've tried. Alright. I'm going to skip the other secret for now. Oh, I am gonna get this one. And let's see what the next level looks like.
ignore that for now. So this is level two under holes. Might need a light flashlight mod for this. Um, I'm gonna try doing. Look at it in the background. So obviously, this is just retraced shadows. Um, I am in occlusion would be more accurate to say. So this um, does not add the PBR materials that you're seeing, the shiny sur surfaces and the, the water that I said broke Brutal Doom that I am in right now. Um, those will not be a part of the engine. You will have to find a mod that uses them. A lot of popular YouTubers have their own. Um, I know that this mod pack has them. Um, So you can experiment. From what I have seen, this version does not seem to like Voxel Doom, but let's go ahead and try that right now, and I will see if it works. Go to project side, add enhancers, enemies, Voxel Doom. That boards a. Uh, Reasonable position load order. And I have not had this work yet because this is a in development version. Um, but I will try to turn off parallax textures and I will pre cache. But from what I have seen, it doesn't seem to like it. Oh, it does work. Okay. It doesn't work with that particular load order that I had. Um, let us turn on the, P the PBR materials because this one has, this level has its own, and as you noticed, it has overridden textures. So if the original version doesn't work well for you, maybe this one might. Um, as you notice that the textures, they are generally bump mapped. Let me see. I don't think that this is bump map. I think it's not because it's not the um, original Doom version. But this mod does have lots of cool geometry. Another mod that is added in this pack is called um, More Lights. I've updated it to my own version because that's one of the few files that I did um, recognize. to the whole map. So yeah, it definitely works. If you use a runner, be sure to put it above the level textures, which unfortunately I was unable to do because of my specific launcher that I use. If you use DTL, it should be fine. I had voxels run under the, the, the texture replacement. So let's See the difference. Okay, we go to advanced display settings, light options. Okay. This is shadow map. To compare, let's go to post processing, ambient occlusion off. Okay. The ambient occlusion does affect it a little bit. Shadow map, ray trace. So it ray traces the sectors and with ambient occlusion it generally looks a lot nicer with ray tracing. So it works hand in hand. Like I said, this isn't like fully path traced. This is just a basic thing to make your maps look a little bit nicer. But this does look pretty cool with the original textures. Lack of bump maps aside, unfortunately the PBRs don't work with this version. Those are custom materials like that. So, that's basically it. Um, if you want to keep watching, I'm just going to play till I get the super shotgun. If not, you can get off here. But uh, go ahead and check this out. It will be available at some point, officially, which I recommend watching the website for. But, again, this is just a quick and cheesy way to get it working um, on the experimental device.
Obviously, I think this project is, has a lot of promise. It tends to work much better for me, especially in Brutal Dome. Um, when you don't have the fluids equipped in mods, um, it tends to work really well. Um, if you have um, shadows set to whatever. Um, oh, I was going to show you guys exactly why you should always have shadow filtering disabled. So I'm going to go and set it to the highest option and understand exactly what I was talking about. Yeah, so it, this makes the shadows soft. Play it on low, some regular option. I've gone down by half my frame rate. I have a pretty beefy system, okay? This is barely running. So obviously, it's not just unoptimized, it's, it's crazy overkill. We should be able to see the difference when, we, when I disable it. You can see those lines. This is a little bit high. Yeah. Slideshow. It, it, what we, th this frame rate is what we would call wallpaper a second. <laughs> uh, yeah, if anyone was taking bull shots before, that's what they used to call it. So that's it. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys later.